Hi there, it's Nicole here today with a white and gold card featuring some inlay background work and then some gilding flakes on die cuts for the large greeting. White and gold is one of my favorite color combinations. It's always so striking and so beautiful. We're gonna start with the gilding flakes on the sparkle, the ampersand, and the shine die cuts. To create this, I am adhering some Stick It adhesive to smooth white cardstock on both sides. Not only is this going to give me a great sticky surface to attach the gilding flakes, but then on the back side, it's going to make the die cut words into a sticker and make it super easy to attach them to my card. If you wanted this step to be even easier, you could definitely go ahead, remove the backing paper from one side and attach gilding flakes to this whole panel and then die cut the words. I didn't want to use that many gilding flakes and so I instead die cut the words first and they're pretty delicate and I'm gonna remove the backing paper from the front side and attach the gilding flakes. It looks kind of difficult, but it really isn't. The gilding flakes go on so easily. You just have to be a little careful. You can't be quite as rough when um, rubbing over them because you don't want to tear the delicate words. I think they could be made even stronger if you wanted to die cut these from a sandwich that had fun foam in them, which I do a lot because I love dimensional scripty words. And I think those would stand up to the um, gilding flakes as well. Once I have all of these little pieces popped out here, including the little dot for the eye, I'm gonna remove the front portion of the backing paper and place some gilding flakes on the word. So I kinda of already did the word sparkle. It's a little bit messy, but that's okay. So let's remove the backing paper from the word shine now. And I like to only do part of the word. That still gives me somewhere to hold on to that isn't sticky. Grab some of those gilding flakes, move those around, cover all the sticky surface. Go ahead and pull the rest of the backing paper off of the rest of the word. Now it looks like a big mess here, but as you kind of gently rub around, get some of that excess gilding flakes off. Then grab a stipple brush, a blender brush, something like that, and start working off the excess gilding flakes. And look how amazing those die cut words look with the gilding flakes. It's just a different look. I love the shine. I love the dimension of it. Really easy to add this to any kind of die cut pieces. I even think if you would run the sunburst a2 cover through the die cutting machine with stick it on one side or some other sticky adhesive, you could make your sunshine have the um, gilding flake look and I think that would be amazing as well. When you're finished with the gilding flakes, a, a Swiffer dry cloth picks up all that excess so easily. So if you're worried about the mess, those Swiffer dry cloths just pick it all up like magic. It's fantastic. It only makes cleanup take a second. I went ahead and went over all of the little pieces again with my blender brush to clean them up really well. I pre die cut some of the pieces here to save a little bit of time. I am using the sunburst panel. I've die cut it from smooth white cardstock and a champagne glitter cardstock. This is a cardstock from Simon Says Stamp and it cuts beautifully. There was a couple little areas that didn't cut all the way out, so I used my scissors to cut them. I'm not going to use the gold frame for this card, but I am gonna save it for something else. So I carefully cut that out because I didn't want to waste that die. With the white frame, this is what I'm gonna use for the inlay. So I wanna place this on a white top fold card base. The easiest way to do this is to, for me anyway, was to place the adhesive on the card itself and not try to put adhesive on the back of that delicate starburst die cut. 
those little teeny tiny thin edges around the sides are so tricky and instead of putting liquid glue or something like that I went ahead and put adhesive all over the front of my card and then I will replace it with that star burst a2 um, background it also allows me to already have adhesive in place to create my inlay with this champagne glitter cardstock. It has just enough of that gold look and feel to it, and it's so amazing. Once you have all of those little pieces in place, I think it looks so fun. Really easy to create an inlay here. You could do an inlay with all kinds of things. I think a rainbow inlay would be amazing. Other colors of cardstock would be really fun. There is my background. And then I've got my die cut words. Now from or with any of the word dies, there's several layers. I kind of thought I would use vellum layers. That's what's laying back behind my words but I don't think they show up very well, and so I just slip them into my storage pocket and I'll save them for another card. While I have all my words out, they're not attached yet, it helps give me an idea where I want to put my stamped greeting. This is the only stamping on the card, is this small stamped greeting from the Blah 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 stamp set that is kind of an encouragement type of greeting. With that sparkle and shine, large greeting this is kind of my sub greeting here it's hashtag don't give up and i think this is a great encouragement type card especially with some of the events and things going on right now um, i bet we all know someone who could benefit from an encouragement card probably any day of the week encouragement cards are something that i'm really enjoying lately because i think they let people know that you're thinking about them and that you're there for them and it's just a great way to send something to someone and make them smile i stamped that greeting from blah 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 with versamark ink and heat embossed with gold embossing powder to go with my gold and white theme and then i pulled off the backing paper from my die cuts and simply pressed those in place on my card now if any of the little pieces i'm afraid maybe won't stick because of the glitter or they're popping up i'm going to put a little drop of glossy accents and um, underneath any little areas like that or underneath the dot for the eye especially and that's going to secure it really well along the bottom edge I'm gonna place some borders die cut with the awesome cloud borders dies, one from vellum and one from white cardstock. These are great dies. I think they go fantastic with the sunburst um, cover plate. They add to that sunshine design. They add to lots of card designs. Flip them over, they make fantastic waves just a really versatile fantastic die set and that's going to kind of finish off my bottom of the card not a lot else is needed down there but that's going to kind of finish it off and add to that background sunshine scene finally for a finishing touch i'm going to take some of the honey bee pearl shell sequin mix and layer the elements on the card what I love about so many of the Honey Bee sequin mixes is that there's these little clear gemstones that look amazing in the middle of the sequins. So I like to put the sequin down, use a jewel picker or a quick stick tool or something that can pick them up and place them where they go and then put a little jewel in the center of some of those elements. It adds a nice little bit of sparkle and shine. I like the layering of those sequin elements. And this pearl mix, I think, goes beautifully with a white and gold theme. It'll go with lots of different themes, but I really liked how this looked with the white and gold I had going here. I will add an assortment kind of starting in that upper left corner of the background, trickling down to the right corner not quite all the way down but just to those upper edges of the clouds little drops of glossy accents 
That way I don't have to worry about anything falling off. A jewel picker keeps my fingers out of the glue, which is always good for me because otherwise I tend to make a mess of the glue and get my fingers in the glossy accents. There's these little shiny discs in this collection as well that I think add to that sparkle and shine of this card. Add a few more of these little pieces here and these little gemstones. That's what I'm placing right there in the center. Now I want to add a few in between the words just to kind of go with the look and feel of them coming in from that left corner down to the bottom right. So I'll add just a couple more right here. Add another little layering sequin with a gemstone. And that is going to finish up my inlay background with Gilding Flakes die cut words card featuring lots of dies and a small greeting stamp from Honeybee Stamps. The supplies I used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring honeybee stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.